Hi everyone, I wanted to do a kind of thread response here and I thought that since I went through the trouble of putting my hair down into a mop top, I'd get a little bit of a closer look at it right now. So I wanted to go to waste. As long as it's still not all gray, I'm going to keep on <laughs> making videos this way. All right, okay, that's more like it. This is going to be a response to Balding Boomer. He uh, actually made a video about the album introducing the Beatles. And a few people I've noticed have jumped on the bandwagon too and responded. Uh, we have John, Captain Howdy. We also have uh, Bobby Gass. And uh, I was very surprised to see Bobby making a, a video on that subject. He had a very unique version of this album that I don't believe I've ever seen another copy of. So if you want to check it out, be my guest go over to Bobby Gas that's two S's and, ch and check out his video for sure uh, check everyone's out while you're at it um, anyway uh, I have two copies of introducing the Beatles I've always wanted to make a video saying something about this album but I didn't know what to say because it's all been said really I thought but I was inspired by these other guys and uh, my two copies uh, are here I'll show them yeah, you know, I never really knew what else I could say about the album, but I got some ideas anyway. Uh, one thing, I've always been really intrigued by this album. I, I don't know what it is. I like the cover very much. Uh, you know, the real early Beatles with Ringo really just get into the group because his hairstyle is not quite, I don't think, a proper Beatles mop top just yet at that point, which is interesting. And I just love the color of this album, the... The way it looks, it looks really vintage, you know, old-fashioned. Um, this is the most counterfeited album, they say. There's so many counterfeits of this album around that the chances are most people got counterfeits and don't know it. I think there was even a book done on this very album alone, um, and I don't have the book. But uh, I also should mention, I'm pretty sure that this photo is reversed, you know. It's a reversed photo image, because if you look at the... EP from the UK. I don't know if it's called the Beatles hits. I'm forgetting the name of it right now. It's got this picture. You got George on the other side and the whole picture is reversed, which I think is actually the normal way. This is flipped. Um, now, let me take this one out of here. Now, as sure as I can be, I think it's original. We all, you know, none of us really thinks our copies are bootlegs. I mean, you've got the shadow here of George. If, if it doesn't have George's shadow here, right away that's a telltale sign you have a bootleg. But uh, this is not the clearest picture, so I'm not sure really. Um, the back of it, this is the copy that has um, Please Please Me and Ask Me Why. And my two copies, out of the, both of them, neither one of them has Love Me Do on it, which I'm still looking for that. I believe that's called version one. My two copies, I think, are version two. As I say, I didn't, I didn't really study the history of this album as well as I could. There's also something called the Honey Test. If you look at uh, the song A Taste of Honey, and I forget if it's the H in Honey, if the H in honey or one of the letters, somebody help me out here. Uh, if, if it's missing some of the black, if it looks kind of sketchy, uh, it's not authentic. Now, the records in these things, and this one comes in a, I don't know if this is brown or just a really disgusting white one. The records are so different for these. I mean, you have labels that are just plain black. And then you have the ones that look like the capital versions with the rainbow. You also have to look at the dead wax on this. The dead wax can't be longer than, I think, it, if it's like an inch long, it's fake. The, the dead wax should not be very thick. If you have a version with the dead wax very thick, that's a bootleg. I know that. And as I say, for all I know, this could be a bootleg. Another telltale sign I've heard is that the... Uh, the rings here, the color rings, have to look very sharp and crisp. If they look kind of like a photocopy, they're not really bold. That's also a fake. Um, and, of course, one of the biggest things you have to look for is make sure the title of the album and also the group The Beatles is above the spindle hole, as this one is. Introducing The Beatles and The Beatles, uh, each above the hole in the record there. If you have it separated by the, the, the hole, it's a fake. Now... 
I don't claim to know everything about this a short note you have some of these that are in brackets as mine are some of them are, are you know, kind of an oval thing uh, as I said before the, some labels are all black no colors uh, somebody was saying that on chains some of them have instead of Goffin and King it says coffin with a C uh, mine here on chains says Goffin with a G so I don't know if that's a good thing forgot what else to look for at the moment but that's this record so I have one other record that I can show I don't think it's that different from this one we'll soon find out because I haven't really perused this in a long time and uh, this video gives me an excuse to do so I think this cover is a little more solid looking a little more authentic looking um, as I said before, um, we got George's Shadow there. Uh, the back again is the Please Please Me version, not Love Me Do. Um, another plain old sleeve. Uh, I also heard that another way to tell, and this gets this can get really crazy, is there should be a couple of cardboard quarter inch pieces of cardboard in here about a quarter inch that show that it's authentic if that's the case this one doesn't have any cardboard in there so I don't know whether this is authentic or not who the hell knows it seems to pass what they call the honey test on the back it's clear you know sometimes I just think let's just collect these let's have the record the record looks good it's a good cover it's a nice label you know bootleg or not who the hell knows you know now this one very identical to the other one you know, it's got the brackets. Let's look at the Goffin and King, see what the deal is there. I'm getting there. This is also, and it's hard to see, also seems to be a complete G, although I have better glasses than these. And above the name is above the spindle, introducing the Beatles and the Beatles. So I don't really know what I've got here, but... Uh, See what you have at home, uh, and there's all kinds of information on the web. The web, if you want to look at the internet and find out, uh, my uh, record store right now I know has a pretty nice copy of introducing the Beatles. It looks pretty minty. Um, I'm, you know, it's, I'm always on the lookout for these. I don't mind getting it. Uh, 20 copies of this album if I want. I mean, you know, I only have two, but it's such a cool looking cover and it's such a piece of history that uh, I, I really don't mind getting more. And if I can get one with Love Me Do on it, so much the better. Thank you for watching, everybody, and take it easy.